Several protection mechanisms are used to protect information systems during runtime which include, protection rings, operational states, and security modes. Operational states or process states represent the various states that a process can take during execution. Operating systems run through one of two states, either in a privileged all-access state, or in a user state where all access should be checked before authorization is granted. User state is sometimes referred to as problem state, because problems could occur and the system must be able to protect its security and integrity. Processes in an operating system are usually put in a queue, where each process is executed when the operating system becomes available. When new processes are created, then they are added to the queue, and would have to wait for their allocated processing time. If a process isn't completed during its allocated processing time, then it is returned to the queue, and has to wait for other processes to be executed. It has to be noted that higher priority processes could be executed first. Processes operate in several states that include being ready, waiting, running, supervisory, and stopped. In the ready state a process is ready to be executed as soon as it gets its turn. When a process is in this state, and the processor is available for it, then it transitions to the running state. Before executing directly, the process is granted the necessary resources and memory it needs. The second process state is called the waiting state, where a process is waiting for a resource or for an access request to be serviced, in order to continue its processing. This state is also known as the block state, since the process can't continue executing until the event that it is waiting for is fulfilled. The next state is the running state, where the process is being executed on the CPU, and it keeps going until it is finished, or until its allocated time has expired. If not completed, the process returns to the ready state, and gets queued until it gets its processing time again. Another process state is the supervisory state, where the process has to perform an action that requires higher privileges, such as modifying system configurations, installing drivers, or altering security settings. So any process that needs to be executed in the privileged mode is considered to be in the supervisory state. The last process state to be mentioned is the stop state, where a process has finished executing or has been terminated due to an error and an unavailable resource. All the resources allocated to this process are moved to other processes. To summarize, new processes always go into the ready state, then move to the running state. Based on what happens in the running state, the process could transition to the stopped or to the ready state. The program executive which is a part of the kernel manages the process state transitions.